Hey, hey, it's Simi Lolu here. And in this video, we're going to go over Fibonacci levels tutorial part two. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to take profits using Fibonacci extensions. Now in my first video, we went over how to use Fibonacci retracements, which help us draw support and resistance levels during a retracement and to figure out whether price action is planning to do a complete reversal or just a mere retracement. In this video, we're more interested in taking profits and this is where the Fibonacci extension comes in. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So this is a 15 minute chart of NEO. And you can see that price action has been trending upwards for quite a while. If I switch this to a daily chart, there it is. So this is the price action of NEO over the past few days. I would say it's pretty extended. We take it from here to here and we look at it. It has, it's definitely a very strong trend. And we want to see at what point NEO will begin to retrace. Since this is a stock that I'm very, very bullish on, so I'm holding shares in NEO. But at the same time, I can see that the chart is overextended. Overextended meaning it's approaching a point where it could go through a price correction phase. And as a day trader, I wouldn't really want to be holding any positions in NEO once it starts going through a price correction. Now, yesterday I did trade NEO and we can see that on the daily chart that there's this nice movement to the upside and it actually hit an all time high of $45.29. Question is, is it going to continue its upward movement? So now I'm going to draw my Fibonacci extensions because again, what the Fibonacci extensions do is they just superimpose a roadmap of support and resistance levels according to the Fibonacci numbers. I'm going to add my Fibonacci extensions. The Fibonacci extensions are going to inform me of my potential take profit points. Okay. I have Neil on a 15 minute chart and I have price action from the previous day and price action right now before the market opens. I'm going to draw my Fibonacci extension from the swing low. To the swing high. No, that's this. This is the swing high of yesterday's trading session. And then we're going to draw it down to the swing low during pre-market. And right there, it sets me my Fibonacci levels. Zooming out a little bit more, we can see that extensions actually extend beyond price action. Perfect for long-term trades. So what this means is Fibonacci extension gives price levels at which you could set your take profit orders. This would set take profit levels for trades over the course of days and weeks and even months. The Fibonacci extension gives price levels at which you could set your sell orders for long-term trades. I also like to draw the highs that have been attained during pre-market. And also I like to draw a level for the high of the previous day as well. These are the lines I'm going to use to trade on and to inform me of various points at which I would want to take profit. 
if I was in any trade, I would take it at this point or I'd take half the trade off the table because price action is approaching a Fibonacci level. It's an area of resistance. Price action can break out above it or price action can bounce off it and trade lower. The 23.6% price level is doing what it's supposed to do as a resistance line. It's actually resisting price action extending above it. This is why if you were in a position from the 0% line with price action increasing, as it approaches the next level, you usually want to take some of your position off the table or exit the trade. It just depends on your trading style. Changing the, changing the time frame to an even smaller interval helps us see what exactly is going on at this resistance point. There it is, the minute it crosses over, it's crossed over our 50% line and I will confirm this upward trend with my other indicators and this would be a great entry point. Well that's all for now folks and if you have found some benefit from watching this video, all I ask is that you hit that like button comment below. I'm always eager to hear your thoughts and your suggestions for new videos. Share with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, make sure you hit that bell. That way you get my videos as soon as I upload them. And I'll see you on the next video.